Well, hello everyone. This is episode three, and uh, and this episode we'll actually be hearing from my uh, my son. He's uh, connected with us uh, via Skype. Or last it's called, night. It's pronounced via via, via Skype. Via Skype, and uh, the other two episodes we didn't because the other <laughs> family members uh, were so loud. In the in where he was sitting, that it was just impossible to hear. So we just decided to not record him. But now tonight we can. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Yeah, hola. Hola, hola, cómo está? Is it hola or hola? Hola. Okay. Hola. So just just so you know, um, Mr. Centurion. Mr. Centurion of the Romans. Centurion. Centurion. I do a fair amount of um, I do a fair amount of pausing in this game because otherwise um, we would all grow old and die uh, watching the videos on YouTube. So we kind of abbreviate them. Oh my gosh, it's not my turn anymore. Skills. Skills. The skills. I'm so, all about them skills. <laughs> well, um, guys, the um, my choice of coming over into this other part of the map from where I was originally plunked down is paying off. I'm no longer in last place. Did I lose my turn? No, oh, it's, no. Your, it's your turn. My, my mouse just went over onto the screen and I couldn't move. Oh, okay. So I am no longer in last place. We are one point ahead of Elizabeth of the English. So it is beginning to pay dividends that we moved over here to this other area here. Elizabeth is like practically like hugging me. Oh, well, that's good. I'd rather have her hug me than that Mongol guy. Oh my gosh, but the Japs are like... The Japanese? They're like... In my armpit, basically. The Japanese are really, uh, really on top of your sieve. Yeah, they're huh? combing my mustache. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, for real. I yeah. see Sap Sapporo, Ito, Matsuyama, something in Emma, Hakodate, Hakodate. Uh huh. Uh huh. I mean, I see like mm -hmm. all the cities. Mm -hmm. I watch these cities be built. Next to me. Yeah, that does stink when you have another sieve like right on top of you. Because then you have to divert a lot of your production into military units and all kinds of stuff like that. Okay, guys. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to pause and then uh, we'll pick it up when we begin to fill in uh, some of these empty spaces here. Well, welcome back, and uh, we have uncovered quite a bit of land up here above my capital area. This is some very sweet land up here. I was worried that this is where the Mongols were, but it turns out Mongols are over here. And uh, it bothers me a little bit because here is my Forbidden Palace. I had wanted to have all of this land to myself. Had I known, I would have put the Forbidden Palace up here and had this larger area up here as my safe um, production zone. But, what can you do? Nothing's perfect. You can kill them all. I could try to kill the Mongols, but... Oh, and I our, found the Mongols. Oh, maybe you could kill them. Just a sliver of their territory. Good. Sure, maybe well, they, we can. Uh, maybe we can sandwich them between us. Once I kill, once I eliminate the Japanese from the equation. Okay. Our score is getting better. Uh, now uh, we're over three hundred. So we are now officially in third. No, 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 that's different. I'm sorry, I'm looking at the wrong guy. We're only I'm ten. We're only it. yes. We're only ten points behind fourth place guy. That's or, 
Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I went to college. I can't do math. We got 285. The Japanese have 295. So I will be in one, two. I'll be in third place. You are in second place, my friend. Skills. Skills. Anyway. Um, I have no horses, though. Horses? Oh, so you won't be able to get the cavalry unit. No, I'm, um, I'm monarchy in four turns. Do I need literature? Oh, speaking of monarchy. What do I get from literature? Do I get anything? Libraries. Good? Libraries. Are they good? Hello? Are they good? Library? Yeah, they, they, they teach you, um, they help with your, um, What's the word I'm looking for? Your inventions, your um, knowledge. Science. Science. Yes, I knew there was a word. And construction and currency. Construction helps you build bridges and stuff. Currency gets you money, so you can come up with marketplaces and banks. What uh, does we are backwards people mean? Means that uh, invention-wise, you're behind the curve. I'm putting 60 funds, 60% funds into, um, yeah, I'm putting 60% funds into science. Oh, yeah? Isn't that good? That's good, yeah. So, okay, well, we're going to pause again, and, uh... Wait, 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 I'm close to you. Are you? I'm so close, you don't even know. I think you're just across the water from me. I think you're close. I'm like there. Are you? I don't see you. No, like, I'm like, you're like right in the darkness. Yes, I'm in the darkness. No, you're like one block away from me. Oh, okay. It's like, it's just like you don't even know. I I'm glad I don't, you don't know. You don't even know. I'm glad I don't know. And maybe complete your turn. So, guys, I, we're back. And uh, we're beginning to build up um, a, some size here. I've explored almost half the continent. And um, we've got some serious chunk of land over here. Um, and unfortunately, the Mongols are over here. And they're beginning to get um, very active with their military guys. We're very I'm, vulnerable right here. I'm going through a state of anarchy. Switching over to monarchy from despotism. Yeah, I just converted to monarchy myself. What I'm doing now is I'm trying to fill in this area with cities. So that um, I have a buffer zone between the Mongols and myself. And, um, eventually I want to attack the Mongols, but you can't attack, at least in my opinion, you can't attack until you're ready. And that means having lots of military units, um, there by their sieve. If you have five units and you attack their city, you're never going to win. Because you'll lose those five units. And then for the next 15 to 20, 30 turns, you're going to be having every one of your cities make a military guy. Send them down the road just to have him killed when he gets there. You need to have a serious force pulled together. I'm talking 50, 75 units. Um, right on their border. Before you even think about attacking. Our uh, points are doing well. Oh, 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 look. So Jam that's a new government type. Despotism monarchy. Monarchy! Yeah, she's monarchy. The information the Japanese city of Kyoto has completed the project. Yeah, I know. Part. My, I was building... I, was, well, I wasn't that close to being done with it. But still, I spent some, you know, serious effort. And all I've got... I'll make a settler. Did it ask you to throw you three bucks? <laughs> Yeah, that's an inside joke. Uh, okay, so we're getting bigger. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Looky there. Looky there. Looky there. Oh, your gosh. Oh, here. I finally have a, a swordsman. And I'm, we're just gonna send them on down this I'm way. I'm just gonna alert you, Dad, that yes. you know, Japanese seem to be stirring a military force. You know. No, don't tell me that. I I see right now on my screen. There's um. There's Japanese warrior, two warriors, and a horseman. Yes. Well, all come in your direction. Well, that's only three units. But, but that's they, all I can see. Yeah, yeah, There yeah. might be, like, billions more just out of my sight. That's very possible. Because, you know, everybody hates you in this game. Yeah, everybody hates me. Hey, you know what I can do? Hey, What's you know that? What? Foreign advisor. Contact the Mongols. Would you like to prove those? No, whatever. Hey, hey, I got literature. Whatever you do, don't don't tell the Mongols you know about me. Oh, I was... Oh. Techno. Code of Laws. Construction. Please, can I have this? What? The Mongol army fears our archer. I'm gonna want... I want construction. I was gonna ask for, um... Contact to you. No, don't... No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't want to have anything to do with the Mongols. They know I exist, but I don't want to talk to them. Well, Grace. Uh, okay. So anyway, guys, we're going to pause here in another moment. Uh, but we're beginning to see the fruits of our labor. We're beginning to get to some size. What I want to do with these cities here, I want to put a lot of cities here. Not only is it nice the, land. We want construction. We offer 175 gold. That's insulting to them. Apparently. So I want this land, and I want to fill it up with military units in the cities so that these cities back here, near the Forbidden Palace, are more protected. So in case we do have a war, um, these are going to be the cities I'm going to lose and not the ones behind it. So anyway, until then, uh, we're going to pause. We'll be back uh, shortly. Well, welcome back. Um, we've made a little more progress, although we're in a very tenuous little position. I'm at war with the... The English, English. just declared war on uh, my son, Puggington. And uh, we are up against the um, Mongols now. And we're beginning to try to expand into this area here. Um, but... I'm hoping this isn't like going to be the time that the Japanese attack. Right. However, these little Mongols have a little stack of guys right there in the center, the yellow guys. And there's another couple right here, and there's one here. So this is not good. But I am hoping on being able to fortify... I've stolen eight gold from blah blah blah. To fortify these guys... Um, they killed a galley that I was going to send to you with a settler and a worker. Oh. Uh, well, hopefully... They're um, my cities. Hopefully... We're going to be able to fortify these cities before these pesky Mongol guys um begin to get these the stack of bad guys into too uh, too far into our area. I'm perturbed now. They ruined my exploration program. The English? Uh-huh. Yeah. They shall pay dearly. Japanese, you wait one second. I'm coming for you next. And we're beginning to try to expand into this area, even as far up as into here. Uh, but we got um, a lot of work to do up here. I'm so, in the Middle Ages now. You are in the Middle Ages. I am close behind you. Uh, I don't know where to put this, this guy. I'm going to put him right here. And so we are sort of following 
this stack of bad guys with our own stack of bad guys. You mean your own stack of good guys? Yeah. Well, I mean like tough guys. Tough guys. Mm -hmm. so I mean like you're not bad. You're like you're Mr. You're Mrs. Actually, Mrs. Liberty. Right, Mrs. Joan of Arc. Isn't Joan the name of your mom? Joan de Arc. Uh, yeah, probably named after Joan of Arc. Okay, come on, move along, move along, move along. Move yes, on. yes, 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 I know, it's just tough. <laughs> when, um, you have to wait, so, whoa, such long turns. But I, I'm trying to, um, develop without letting these, these yellow military guys, um, derail my plans too much. You know, I was close to you, you know that? Really? I was close. My boat was like just across the water from you. Now well, I'm perturbed. I should also mention that um, this area down in here, we're very close to filling in entirely. And so uh, things are progressing. Uh, Forbidden Palace, we're kind of fortifying him a bit. Come on! Uh, the city is empty. We're still exploring. Uh, this is a good time to maybe tell the story of uh, years ago when I was playing Civ. There was a little island up above my main area. And on that little island, there was a single little hut. Little barbarian hut. And I ignored that thing the whole game. Because, you know, after a certain number of turns, it's almost just guaranteed it's just going to be a barbarian. And so I ignored this thing the whole time. Until I finally had tanks or advanced armor or something. We were well, you know, into the you know closing few years of the game. And I decided I was sick of that hut. So I sent a tank up there to step on that hut to get rid of those barbarians once and for all. And when that tank stepped on that hut, it said, the Gepid tribe has taught you rocketry. <laughs> I thought that was funny. These little native guys have been tinkering away in that hut and developed rocketry. It's amazing. I was very appreciative of that rocketry. So, okay, this, I think this might be a good time to end episode three. We're right around the 18 minute mark. So, uh, we will pick it up as soon as uh, Puggington uh, finishes his uh, uh, turn. Actually, I'm going to stop it right now. <laughs>